Hey guys, today we're trying super inefficient golf, and I'm concerned. We'll see how this goes. Oop, let's do... Boop. Boop. There we go. New game. Yeah, it said drop the golf club, so I don't think we're playing with a club at all. So, we played a few parody joke games built around golf. What's this one gonna be? Alright, so right stick zooms in. Press space or right trigger for shoot mode. What? Alright, so the, some of those tutorials kind of came and went pretty quickly, so I didn't get the chance to figure them out. What is going on with this, this controls? Okay. Left stick is how you look at- whoa. So left stick is how you look around and right stick zooms in and out, which is weird because right stick is the go-to look around stick for shooters and all that, so... Can I remap that to be better by any chance? I don't think I can. Uh, just gonna have to live with it. Alright. So was I supposed to place mines all over the... I think I was. Then you hit right trigger to be in shoot mode, then go poof. And you can detonate the mines. Is this chess, says the achievement? <laughs> what is happening? Alright. Well, that's good. We made it. I got a birdie. Hmm. This, I mean, I guess the title's true. <laughs> it is super inefficient golf. So you need to place mines all over the golf club, uh, sorry, the golf ball, but then you detonate them manually later. Huh. When I saw the mines on the ball, I kind of thought that the four face buttons were going to be on different parts of the ball permanently, and you would just press the that direction. You'd like press that mine to make the ball go somewhere. I feel like it might take away from the game a little bit that you have to manually place the mines every time. I kind of thought that was going to be the control scheme. There's so many games like Bennett Foddy and other stuff where like the core control scheme is all about this idea of giving you a difficult way, ability to move the thing around and having to live with that. And so like if there was like four pre-designated mine locations, that might be a little- oh, right trigger makes you hop a little bit. If there were like pre-designated like mine locations, that kind of might be more interesting. Is this hit gonna end eventually? When do I try again? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. 26 bombs left. Oh. I see. Hmm. I don't know how you spend 26 bombs though. It seems like you can only place the four. But yeah, you can stack you can you, you can stack four bombs at a time, and it seems like you're able to place four bombs in general. That helps answer some of the question of how the hell I ever get up there. Oh. I I so I think it has to roll the way back every time. Huh. No more mines restarting a hole. Um Okay. How am I going to get over that cliff, let alone even up the slope that much? Like, the best I can do is, like, this kind of mine laying. 
Oh. Oh. That was like a completely different outcome than last time. I don't know. I hate to be a dick, but I feel like I had a better game in my head and then I started playing this game and I got a different thing than what I thought was going to be fun about this. Because I, I don't know. I don't like this, this mine planting mechanic very much. Oh god. Two, four might be strong. I'm not crazy about this this mechanic for planting the mines on the ball. I kind of just want the bombs to be on the ball and then you like have to like cleverly man maneuver the thing by inefficiently triggering like these four like thrusters that are all on the the uh, ball. That might be kind of interesting. Holy crap physics. All right, so yeah, four four is a no-no, as it turns out. Uh, restart. There you go. But anyway, let's try to make the best of it. So let's just do two. Don't fall out. Don't fall out, or we're totally fucked. Well, we're pretty fucked, because those are both can- <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I can plant new ones. So you get to plant new bombs each time. I guess that's what makes it a hit, is every time it stops and you plant new bombs, it's now a new hit, and that affects whether you get a birdie or whatnot. Oh, nope. Go back. Go back. No. All right. I'm resigned to my fate. Poof. Well, they're all pointing the wrong direction, so I don't want to press any of those buttons now. Why are you clapping? I didn't make it. <laughs> don't applaud this. This is da just a disaster. No! <laughs> One bomb is too much to make it in. The okay, left bumper's how you delete things. Go in the hole! There we go. Yeah, it was all the little nubs everywhere that were screwing with my physics at that point. Oh boy, okay. Here we go! Blast off. Don't go in the hole. There it goes. Go up. There we go. That's a very different outcome from the first time. I don't know, the ball rolls in a complete state of chaos, so I don't know if I would realistically ever want to use more than one type of bomb. I feel like I'm just going to plant one bomb and use it like a hit, like you're playing golf. Because otherwise, like, it's just chaos. Like, once you hit one bomb, it's spinning, so where the fuck is the next bomb going to send you? Who knows? It seems like it's more risk than it's worth. But maybe there's some crazy skill shots some pro players are pulling off. You're a bogey.
This does maintain the usual sort of cheap feel you get with all these Steam golf games I've seen. Like golf with your friends and... Is it called Golf It or something? Where it, it always looks like it's uh, from like the Unity Asset Store or something. Like a bunch of little throwaway assets. Sometimes they look like they're from the same store. Or like they might be... <clears throat> Sometimes I look at some of these games and I feel like I'm seeing the same assets I've seen in the other games. There's just kind of like a generic, repurposable level to it. There's some good fun in multiplayer usually though, so it's kind of worth it. But there was like, yeah, there was like the golf game we played in Gmod Tower, and then we transitioned to like a standalone golf game that wasn't part of Gmod Tower, and it felt like it was still Gmod Tower. That was, it was kind of the funny element of it. Boop boop! There we go. So if I get in there, maybe the fan will just take care of it for me. Stop rolling, 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 stop rolling. Stop. Please. There we go. This game could almost use more grass physics. Because the grass doesn't seem to really do much to stop its inertia, so the ball just kind of keeps going. Oop. Okay, now we need to get up. I can do this. I believe in me. Oh, that was way too much. For shame. And dishonor. Two is too much? Damn. I am really wrong. But one is not even close to enough. Okay. We need a new strategy then. What if I do two straight on the bottom? Maybe even three. I guess gonna fire it straight in the air. And then one that goes forward. This is where you have use for multiple bombs now. Time for some crazy contraptions. Huh. Uh. Now it should slightly it should go slightly forward, hopefully. Oh. Okay. I think I'm onto something. It importantly, it didn't really seem to spin, which is useful. I need to press it closer to the ground so it doesn't... Wait, did it just make it anyway? It did. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, I, I, I hit the forward too long, so the forward momentum carried for too long, and that got us into trouble. All right, I think I'm- I feel like I'm starting to get it. Maybe I'm too fast to judge the methodical nature of planting these, uh... Oop. Of planting the mines. Boop. Wow. It really does just take off. Well, I've safely avoided the death bombs, so that's a sweet thing going for me right now. Now I just gotta make it the next stage the same way, pretty much. Save me, fans! There we go. Don't. I don't know what it takes to blow those up. I'm a little worried that just detonating my mines might kill me, actually. I guess we'll find out. Oh, that's a sand pit. We tried. Oh, it's too much. There we go. 
Double bogey. Alright, well I think we got the gist of this. So this is super inefficient golf. If you'd like to check this out, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I can preview their game. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.